All right, gang, it's time to do the cyanide test on our known cyanide solution. So this is going to be our control test to let us know what cyanide actually looks like in its reaction. So this is a, a very specific test with a very specific outcome. If we don't see this outcome on our unknown, we know there is no cyanide, but we do have to know what the outcome looks like. So the first thing we need to do is add one drop of sodium hydroxide solution to our cyanide well. Very good. Liam, if you wouldn't mind giving that a mix, please. Excellent, perfect. All right, James, if you would add five drops of ferrous sulfate. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Even if you wouldn't mind giving that another good start. Now you see it's starting to turn kind of a, a red color, almost a, a black cherry red. But we're not done yet. Bridget, at this point, if you would please add five drops of hydrochloric acid. So this is our, our last step, and you have to twist to get it off. Good job, Bridget. And five drops. So this is our last step. Two, three, four, five. Oh, good. And Liam, if you would give that a stir. And very nice, Liam. So if you look, you'll see it's kind of a, a dark color. Maybe we can stop now. Let me borrow your stirring rod quick, buddy. It's a nice dark color. And if we move it up kind of to the side, you can see it's almost like a a black cherry red color, and this is indicative of cyanide contamination or cyanide poisoning. So if we see that nice black cherry red color, we know our poison does contain cyanide. All right, great job, gang. Thanks for all your help. Next up, we're going to be testing all of our unknown poisons with each of our reagents.